All right, guys, so I'm going to go and try to repair this big ass scratch in my husband's laptop screen. I feel really bad. I have no idea how I got here. Apparently, at some point last night, the screen got scratched. Apparently, at some point last night, the screen got scratched. Um, he has the newest version of the Apple MacBook um, with the touch bar. I mean, it's brand new. I think retail value goes for... So anyways, I gathered some materials here. I did a little bit of research and we're gonna, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna see if it works. I really hope it works. Like I said, I don't know what happened, but we're gonna use some toothpaste and Vaseline and we're gonna see if this scratch comes out. Oh my God, can y'all see that? So there it is, there's the scratch. So we're gonna see if this scratch comes out. I'm gonna show you guys, this is the before. Okay, so I went ahead and put a little bit of the toothpaste, not gel, but toothpaste on my finger and the instructions call for putting the toothpaste directly on the scratch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And in a circular motion, it calls for just, I guess, buffing it with your finger. Like I said, in a circular motion where the scratch is. Oh my God, I really hope this works, guys. I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad just because I use it, I use his laptop all the time, but like I said, I don't, I really do not even recall. I mean, Really, this just make me not want to use his laptop, guys. Not because he complained or because I feel like, you know, it's just that I don't want to be responsible for damaging anybody's property. And I feel really bad that... So I got him this laptop for Christmas, guys. Oh, God. Okay. And just buff, buff, buff in a circular motion. That's what we're doing, y'all. I'm so nervous. I hope this comes out. Oh my God, please come out. Please come out. He hasn't even had this laptop a year, guys. I'm so, I feel so bad. Okay, so then it calls for a lint-free cloth, and you want to wipe the area, and then we'll put the Vaseline on. So let's just, I mean, let's just see, I guess. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so freaking nervous. Please. Okay, guys, hold on. I gotta put this down so I can really wipe this i'll be back so this looks like a hot mess right now i hope this works so now we're gonna go ahead and put the jelly um i can still see the scratch so i don't know y'all i really don't know can y'all see that I'm buffing, buffing, buffing like crazy. And honestly, to be totally truthful with you guys, I've watched, uh, oh my God, I've watched multiple videos on people doing this. And it actually really does work with the toothpaste and Vaseline. But I honestly just think that this gouge is just too deep for it to really work on his laptop. And honestly, I went back and Charles and I both were trying to piece together what the fuck happened to cause such a fucking deep gouge. And I think what it was is we had a gimbal that we use with our camera equipment. We had it laying next to the laptop. And 
I don't know if it was when I put the laptop down last night, if it kind of, if the screen nicked a corner on the gimbal, or if when Charles went to go pick it up this morning, he hit, you know, hit the screen on the corner of the gimbal. I really don't know. But like I said, it's super deep. It's, it's not like a normal scratch. I'm going to show you guys what I got it to look like at this point with the toothpaste trick but like I said it's not it's not 100 percent and I I just I still feel really bad and oh gosh like I said after taxes and all that shit I mean I guess at this point we just have to replace the screen if we want it to get it back perfect but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like but definitely if you have a laptop uh, MacBook, whatever, um, even, you know, Windows computer, if you have a laptop that has minor scratches in it, I would say definitely try that toothpaste trick. It does work. Um, it's worked in all the videos that I've seen so far. And like I said, had Charles's had this, I'm not even going to call it a freaking scratch, had this gouge not been so deep i think it would have worked honestly but it was it's just it's just too deep and you know honestly i can feel it with my hand like i don't oh god uh okay wait where is it hold on am i not hold on y'all Oh, there it goes. You see it? Do y'all see it? It's right there. You see the line shining on it? It's right there. Um, honestly, I will say, I will say it is less. It is considerably less than what it was. And I'll try to like show before and afters, but it's not totally gone. And I think, like I said, that's just because it was just really too deep, honestly. Had it been, you know, a little less severe, I think I would have, I would have got it. I would have got it all the way out. But hopefully, this video helps somebody. Like I said, if you got scratches, give it a try. Um, it's a cool little trick, especially if you know you just don't want to necessarily replace the whole screen but you need a little bit of touch up i say definitely go for so it this is what it looks like with the screen on you really you can't even see and this is after you know the toothpaste and vaseline but you can't even see the the gouge it's i'm not even gonna call it a scratch you can't even see the gouge so i guess it helped but it's not perfect you know unfortunately but I mean, yeah, you can't even see it with the screen on. Hopefully, like I said, that works for somebody. If you're in the same situation, definitely give it a try. And yeah, I think you'll be happy with the results overall.